We're putting our, our imaginary worker to work, aren't we? Look at all that lettuce. That's from one month, you guys. That is insane. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we have three tasks uh, that we need to do. We need to get the pallets uh, into the cold storage. We need to get our bales picked up off the field, and we need to get our field rolled. So that is the plan. Uh, so when I started up the game, it's like really stuttering and freezy and stuff. So I don't know what's up with that, but hopefully that clears up and doesn't cause us too much trouble. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here by hopping into the man. Yeah, what in the heck's going on here? What? <laughs> Why is it taking a million years to get into my truck? Um. Oh, hold on a second. I think I might know what the issue is here. I need to um. Here, I need to quit the game for a second and go back to the the settings at the in the menu let's go to options and let's go to let's turn this off head and eye tracking um i was actually messing around earlier with some head tracking software just some free stuff that i found on the internet and <clears throat> it wasn't working very well i you know which isn't surprising at all it did work but it was just I was actually doing it more for American Truck Simulator, which, by the way, I just uh, this morning uploaded my very first episode of American Truck Simulator. So if you guys are interested in watching that, uh, it should, it, well, by the time you see this video, it will already be out anyways. But uh, So I was messing around with some head tracking software uh, for that, and um, it, I, I couldn't get it to work very well. But apparently it uh, messed up with this game, too. Okay, good. So we got in the truck. We should be able to look around. Oh, it's still really stuttery, though. Okay, well, hopefully that clears up. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But we can look around now. Okay, so anyway, um, let's get started here. Uh, we're going to grab our new low loader trailer. And give that a try. Let's get some lights on. And uh, we're gonna also bring in our part time, our imaginary part time worker to help load this. Uh, so we gotta make sure we pay him. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I didn't do that right. We need to do this first and then hook up the lines. There we go. So, uh, yeah, let's actually do that right now, so I don't forget. So we're going to uh, take out 1200 bucks there to pay our worker. All right, that's done. For those of you who don't know what that's all about, um, I'm using a paddle, uh, a pallet autoloader mod. But in, in order for me to, to use that uh, legit, or from a role-playing sense, however you want to look at it, I pay an imaginary worker 1200 bucks a month or he actually works for me at 15 bucks an hour for 20 hours a week um to simulate you know him loading these pallets because i didn't want to just use auto load without you know having to pay for it in some way um so that's yeah that's how we kind of get around that with uh that okay so let's uh load up these strawberries we're going to get another little batch of them too here in a second Come on, strawberries. There you go. A whole nother... Uh, more than... Yeah, nice. Okay, we'll take them. Okay, let's load all those up. Got to back up just a little bit more to snag that one. All right, we'll get the tomatoes later. Let's do the strawberries first, because I'm planning on putting the strawberries all the way um, up against the left corner. I almost wonder if I should do that with the lettuce, though, because the lettuce is what we're going to have the most of. Um, nah, that's all right. We'll just do it this way. 
Okay, so now we want to make sure, let's bring up the help menu, that we're offloading on the left side of the trailer. Unloading side is left. Yep. Okay, so shift I. And there we go. Nice, neat stack of strawberry pallets there for us that our worker did. Okay, let's grab the tomatoes next, but we'll keep those on the trailer until... Um... Here, let me look at something here. It still seems to be really laggy going into first person view for some reason. I'm trying to, yeah, this, this view is not, the reason I did that is because I wanted to kind of practice backing up for trucking uh, American Truck Simulator, but the views in Farming Simulator, first-person views, are not as good as they are in Truck Simulator, so it makes it pretty hard to back up in first-person. Not impossible, but not easy either, so we won't make things hard on ourselves here. Okay, let's get these tomatoes loaded up. Very good. All right. Now we'll just keep the truck parked here for now. Okay, so um, I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. We have a few different options for loading these pallets. I have... Uh, I have some long forks that work with the telehandler. But the problem with these forks that I've noticed is that the pallets tend to drift. Um, and so by the time I load them up and then drive them into the cold storage, they're all kind of cockeyed, which I don't like. So I don't know if that's really the best approach. We could... We could try the telehandler with the... Uh, the bag thingy with the straps because that'll keep the pallets nice and straight. The trick with that though is getting the um, getting all uh, eight of the pallets at once, which it can do, but you have to be in the right position. Okay, so yeah, let's um. Let's give that a try. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get right in the center of these first two stacks of pallets. And then if we do that, do we have a hold of all of them? I don't think so. No, we don't. Okay, so let's lower this back down. What about here? Okay, do we got the one in the front? We do. Okay, nice. So let's back away from the other stacks. See, now the advantage of th doing it this way is the pallets can't shift. I mean, they're pretty much locked in place. <clears throat> until we set them down, right? And we're moving eight at a time, which is pretty nice, too. Uh, let's get... Well, here, let's open the cold storage. And I want to turn our lights on, too. I can't get to them. Let's get the telehandler out of the way first. Okay, so 
yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll put the strawberries over on this side. I don't actually want them all the way up against the wall, though, because, um, you know, then the, when we're trying to get in there, the wheels of the telehandler or the forklift will be brushing up against the wall. So we do need to leave a, a bit of a gap there. So I'm thinking probably right to where the mirror starts touching the wall. Apparently that mirror doesn't have a collision, which is a good thing. Yeah, right about here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to set these down. And then release the straps. And they stay reasonably nice and straight and neat. Look at that! Okay. Let's try it again. So here again, we want to get right in the middle. And then, you know, the, the bag hook thingy swings and you kind of need to time the swing of it to uh, you know what we might need to well okay here let's uh all right right oh it stopped swinging okay hold on I might need to do this. It looks like we got it. Nice. Okay. Very easily up. And then gently back away from the other stack so we don't mess them up. I'm liking this, man. Now, I guess the next question is, do we have enough clearance with the ceiling in here to put this stack on top of the stack that's already in there. I guess we're going to find that out, aren't we? I think we probably will. There are some weird physics going on here, but, you know, the, the straps are holding everything nice and snug, so... That's the good thing. Okay, let's back up a little bit. And drop this down a little bit. Now, the one thing that could happen, though, is <laughs> the whole thing could explode on us. Just ugh, completely glitch out. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen. Man, look at that. That is just beautiful. Okay. I don't think we're going to be able to get... We might be able to get one, a, a flat row up there. But I'm not going to have clearance to get another double row up there. Okay, well, here. Let's back on out. Oh, man, I need to get OG some uh, springtime clothing. He's still got his winter clothes on. It's probably hot, poor guy. He's still got his toque on and his winter coat and his gloves and his ski pants. Let's go in the house here and cool off. We'll grab ourselves a glass of lemonade or some iced tea and get some cooler clothing on. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's see. What do we want to wear? That's a sweater. He wore this last spring, so let's let's give him a new wardrobe. Ooh, that looks toasty, too. We might have to do that one in uh, next winter. Uh, yeah, let's wear a farming simulator t-shirt. That looks good. 
Voltra short sleeve. And then we'll just put jeans back on. OG likes jeans. He's a jeans kind of guy. Uh, we'll put some cooler uh, shoes on. How about... Yeah, those look nice. We'll do those. And then let's get a cowboy hat on for him. And just some more basic work gloves that aren't going to be really hot. And we'll go with those. Okay. Much better. You're looking good, man. You are looking good. Handsome fella he is. Okay, that's better. All right, now, um... I wonder if we could try and get away with the forks for the, the top ones. Um, yeah, let's, let's just try it. I just, you know, like I said, it's just, there's a lot of pallet shifting that goes on with these forks because, you know, they're probably, they're just a bit longer than the physics engine is expecting them to be, I'm guessing. Guess we could also try normal sized, uh, you know, normal length forks too. Um, actually, you know what? Let's let's go into this. Oh, you know what? I haven't even looked at this yet either. What do we got for sale? Eh, nothing we want. Okay. Let's go to wheel loader tools because I have a mod that has, I believe it's these forks here. You can put a, these little support thingies on it. Yeah. Okay. And we want to make sure that it's for a telehandler. And how much does this cost? 4100 bucks. You know what? Let's lease it and see how well it works first before we actually purchase it. Because I don't have a ton of operating cash right at the moment. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I might even just sell these long forks there. They just don't work that well. Unless I can, you know, find some kind of a use for them at some point. Oh, did I not hook those up? I guess I didn't. Okay. One thing, oh, you know what though? I hope these forks are, are these extension thingamadoodles don't hit the ceiling either. Nah, I think we'll be okay. All right, so let's get these nice and wide. That's a little too wide, I guess. Bring them in to about here. Yeah, see the pallets are already starting to shift as soon as I picked it up. That's too bad we couldn't strap them. But there isn't uh, an option for that. Okay. Oh, 
Ooh. Yeah, those are going to hit the ceiling. Oh, man. All right. Well, this isn't going to work after all. I'm glad I w we leased that. Of course, I might keep them anyway. All right. I have a plan B here. Actually, I don't know if my plan B is going to work either. Uh, that The plan B is to use the the electric forklift. But I'm not... I don't know if it'll get high, up high enough to... Yeah, well, let's try it and see what happens. It's really important that I f figure out the most efficient way to do this because it's going to be a lot of work, you guys. Loading this stuff in here e every month. I mean, we have we have to load it in, and then we have to load it back out at the end of the year. So I got to figure out the best, absolute best way to do this. Uh, okay, so here, let's do this. Let's get in to this stack here. Oh, get down there, man! So I can, you know, get the second stack with these forks, too. Technically, I shouldn't be able to, but the game lets me do it, so I'm just going to take advantage of that. I think, though, the problem we're going to run into is I'm not going to be able to get the forks high enough to get this stack up there, but let's try it. Maybe we can. Gonna push that all together there. Let's change our camera angle a little better. Nope. Doesn't quite go high enough. If we had a, a stack of three, we could do it. But the auto loader puts them down in stacks of two, and I don't want to have to handle this stuff any more than necessary. Hmm. Okay. Well. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to think about this. I'm going to have to give this some thought to figure out what our best solution is because I, I we are probably going to fill this entire cold storage up by the end of the year I mean if you think about all of the lettuce in particular see how those pallets are drifting there that we got to get in here uh, so we really need to maximize the space So here, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to... I'm going to grab these top ones. Oh. Not even close to being lined up there. Also, I'm I'm going to use super strength just for little tweaks here and there because that pallet should not have drifted like it did. 
So, I mean, you, you guys know me. I, I try and do things legit as much as possible, but sometimes because of the just the wonky physics in this game or other glitchy stuff, you got to sometimes help it out with some super strength or whatever, you know? It's just the way it is. Okay, now, uh, well, I guess we got to get this other one too. Doesn't really. Well, I, I guess it does kind of help to be in first person for this. It actually helps a lot. We could widen our forks a little bit too there. So this. This is going to definitely work. I just, I'm not sure if it's the most efficient way to do it. The quickest way to do it, you know? So maybe we bring the two loads of strawberries in with the telehander bag, you know, strap thingy. Because they stay nice and neat. But then we have to shave, you know, the, the top two rows off like this to make a, a triple stack. So this forklift can get up high enough. Hey, actually, you know, I just thought of something. There's another stand-up forklift in this shop. I wonder if its forks can go higher. Uh, let's take a look. So we want forklifts. Oh, no, we need to be in vehicles. There's this guy here. See, that would, that's, seems to suggest that the forks can go higher on this, but can we get them up high enough and still clear the ceiling is the question. How much does this cost to lease? $2,000? Yowzers! Let's try it. it might, this might be the solution. You know what? I, I didn't look at this one, actually. But I can't imagine this one's going to go up any higher than the other one. It doesn't seem to give us a spec for how high they will go. Okay. Well, here, let's, let's finish out this job first. Since we're almost there, and then we'll try that other forklift out. this doesn't start to get unstable on me. Squeeze everything together there. Loading the truck back up at the end of the year is actually going to be quite a bit easier because um, all I have to actually do is just drive up to the the trailer and the auto load will actually pull the pallet off of my forks and put it on the trailer. It's really kind of slick how it works. And again, that's going to be simulated by our worker helping us that we're paying for. Okay, that's not terrible, you know. It's not not bad under the circumstances, I'd say.
Yeah, look at him shifting out there. Yikes. Oh, do I not have them all the way off the ground? That's part of the issue. <laughs> Didn't even notice that till just now. Okay, let's press into here and try and square it up a bit. Now we're going to want to make sure we don't hit the other pallets while we're scooching this in here. At least until we get it scooched in. Alrighty, not too bad. Um, can we? You know what? Before I do this, let's say, let's do a save in case I completely blow this up. I could see that happening, man. Uh, okay, we're gonna grab that and try and shove the whole stack in a bit. You know what? Let's leave it alone. Let's not mess with it any further than that. That's not terrible. And it's not terrible. Okay. So that definitely works. The question is, is that the most efficient way to do it, right? Is that the quickest way to do it? You know what? Two. I think I'm only going to do one row of eggs because we're not going to get that many eggs in a year. Enough to do, you know, to justify two rows. I, I don't see that happening. I mean, I wish we were, but... That's not going to happen. The other thing, too, is, again, I don't want these all the way up against the wall. So let's pull them out a little bit so we have some room to maneuver. I think, don't the eggs sell best around the same time as everything else? Let's look at that. No, actually, the eggs sell best in October. Well, we're looking at December and January, I think, for the produce. Uh, let's take a look. Lettuce. Yeah, lettuce is January. Tomatoes is January. And strawberries are January. Okay, so October is the egg. So we definitely need to make sure we don't block these in here. We won't. I mean, we'll still be able to get to them, but we just have to keep all that stuff in mind is all. Okay, let's park this for now, and let's try out that other forklift. I just want to see how high it goes, and if we can... I used to, I used to actually operate a forklift similar to this a long time ago. Does this not have lights? Okay. Oh, first question is, can we clear the door? <laughs> Barely. Oh, my goodness. Uh, all right. Now, we need the forks to be able to go up four pallets high in order for this to, to work ideally without banging into the ceiling. We can do it. All right. This is the solution, you guys. Nice. Okay, so basically what we do is we bring in uh, the four, or, well, I, it's eight pallets actually with with the straps. Uh, and then we use this guy to put two more on top. And we don't have to fiddle around with that extra step of pulling, you know, the one off to make three with the, the other forklift. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. I love it. Love it. I wonder if, uh, oh. We, we're not going to be able to get a double stack of pallets with these forks, though. I, I, at least I don't think we will be able to, because... Oh, man. What if we came at him... This thing turns on a dime, too. What if we came at it from here? Can we get the forks? 
Uh, not the forks, but I mean the the support thingies. It, will it straddle the pallets? Is what I'm trying to say here. Okay. It, ooh, way I have it. Still, it's the forks aren't sticking out that way. All right. Well, maybe this isn't as good of a solution as I thought. What happens when we go in this way? Yeah, see, <laughs> that's, that's all we can do. Oh, man. I mean, it could we could still make it work. It's just we're going to have to move two stacks at a time instead of four at a time is all. And it's just extra handling. I'm, what I'm trying to get away from is, I, you know, handling this stuff as little as possible. Hmm. Okay, well, this is the end of the strawberries for this month. There's no there's no tilt on these forks either, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. They're all, they will always be level. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's um, let's try things with the tomatoes and see how that goes. Uh, and then we'll yeah, then we'll go from there. All right, I just wanted to get the let the first load of lettuce uh, staged and ready to go there. Uh, so let's hop in the telly here. Uh, I don't even think we actually need these forks. Let's just return them. There. Yeah, you just got to get it in the right spot. But man, I'll tell you what, this is slick, you guys. I really like this. This is the way to move pallets, man. The thing is swinging all over the place. It's kind of like moving uh, equipment in Gold Rush. <laughs> Get it a little bit closer to the strawberries. Nice. Oh, you know what? Something just occurred to me. Does the curtain side trailer actually drop those off in stacks of three? Ooh. We get we need to test that. Cause that that could that could change this operation a little bit. Yeah, we need to we need to test that. Okay. Well let's finish moving these.
Okay, that's not terrible. While I'm thinking about it, let's just go grab these eggs over here. And then I'm thinking what we might want to do is... get the curtain side out for the remaining lettuce and see if that'll do like a triple stack for us. Because if that's the case, then we might be able to move the whole shebang with the telehandler. park this out of the way here. What I'm going to do with this is back it up a little bit here and then let's offload it. Alright. Disconnect you. Oh, <laughs> I parked the tail handle right in front of the curtain side. Silly me. There we go. Okay, so, um... Let's go get the other lettuce, the remaining lettuce. And we want to open this up on the left side, curtain right front, curtain left front. Yeah, that's good. And then uh, Z. Oh, yes, it does. Okay. It does do a triple stack. See, I thought it did, but I couldn't remember for sure. Okay, this is good. This is really good. If all goes well, then we should be able to move everything with the telehandler. With minimal handling. Beautiful. Putting our imaginary worker to work, aren't we? Look at all that lettuce. That's from one month, you guys. That is insane. <laughs> That's from one month. Oh, man, it's awesome. Okay. What I want to do here is... Kind of get more over this way a little bit, and then we're going to drop it off on the left side. Okay, close the curtain on this side. Oh my goodness, that is so much lettuce. Okay, uh, we want to open uh, curtain right back, curtain left front. Doesn't really matter, okay. There we go. All right. Let's park this and see what we can do here. We have a couple of holes there that we'll have to fix in the stacks, but that's not a big deal. That's pretty good.
Okay, I'm actually gonna use the man, the truck here, to pick up the bales. Um, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna free up the other two tractors so I could when I can be picking bales up while they're rolling the field. But we'll do that later, of course. Okay, so let's see here. What we want to do is we need to fill in that gap. But Aaron, well, let's let's move the end stack first. Sure, we're right in the center. I think we got it. Oh man, this is so awesome. Okay. Carefully pick it up and back it away from the other stacks so we don't fork something there. Ooh, -wee. this is heavy. <laughs> uh that's a thing. Okay. Um, if we pull them, this is all the way in, right? Yeah, okay. You know, that sucks too, because as far as I know, you can't put a weight on the back of these. The weights need a three-point hitch. Oh man, I thought we had it. I guess if we had a heavier telehandler... I mean, oil? It's just... <laughs> oh, man, this is funny. Okay. It, it sort of works. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I can do to improve the weight distribution. If I pull, if I pull this in like so to get it closer to the vehicle... Okay, yeah, that's better, but I think we're going to be too high to get through the door now. Let's just see what happens here. Yeah, we're not going to make it through the door with this setup. Okay, well, let's lower it back down. Could we... Just kind of <laughs> do this. You know what I think the answer here is, you guys, is a bigger telehandler, one with, that can handle more weight. Um, man, I really wish there was a way we could put a counterweight on this. That would solve everything. Look at that nice, neat stack, though. Oh, you know what, though? I'll bet you... Oh, uh, yeah, well, there's no way we're going to be able to get another triple stack up there because this is going to be, like, way up here. Well, I shouldn't say no way. We should try it. It might just barely work. I wonder if there's any, like, adapter on Mod Hub. That would allow you to put a weight on the back of this. Let me let me just do a really quick search. I'll be right back. All right, guys, good news. This uh, mod actually is on the Mod Hub. I was just looking uh, in the wrong place. Uh, so this is the Lizard PW uh, mod, and it's basically a telehandler weight set. So that's exactly uh, what we want. So let's click install on there. And uh, yeah. I, I when I, I did a search for it on Google and it came up on a different website. Um but then when I clicked on the link on the website, it actually took me to the mod hub and that's when I knew, oh, it is in the game. So very good. Okay, let's go here. And we want to make sure that we activate this. Gotta find it here. Right here. Lizard PW. And we want to go into the weights category and scroll over to the right. And these are for telehandlers. Nice. Okay. I love it. Um, 
So I guess it's just these two. This is a one and a half to three ton, and that's a one and a half to two and a half ton. I mean, I don't think we need that much weight. Um, kind of like the look of this one better, unless, is there an option to not have the little thingies on the back? Guess not. So that's a 1,500 kilogram there, or one and a half ton. Yeah, I, I think I like this one here. And we could make it cloth color too. Did that yeah, that costs an extra 200 bucks. That's all right. Um, yeah, I, I think this will be enough. If it isn't, then, you know, we're just going to have to customize it to add more. <clears throat> we're, you know, we're not talking about a whole lot of money here, even though, again, every little bit matters. Look at that little guy. Okay, this is, I think this is the ticket. I think this is what the doctor ordered, man. And there we go. Awesome. Okay. That doesn't look like it's something that's supposed to raise up and down. That's okay. Now let's try this. I'm going to grab this one off the end and move it over to that side so we have a full stack. I have to just uh, kind of give all the mod authors of this game a little bit of praise. Well, and the Giants, too, for setting it up so that we can have mods, because it just really makes the game so much better. You know, and, of course, case in point today, right? Okay, let's get this. To chill out a little bit. I think hopefully that's good enough. All right, now can we pick this big old stack up and keep things? Stable. Keep all four wheels on the ground. That is the question. Do I have that bottom pallet? I don't. Okay. I'm going to have to redo this. There we go. I think... Is that all of them? Nope. Now it missed those ones in front. Yeah, this is a little weird, man. Looks like we got them all. Okay. Yeah, it's working. It is working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome, you guys. Okay. Now, the final test here is can we get it up high enough to stack it without banging into the ceiling? That's the final test here of the day. It's going to be really, really close. Let's get it stable. Stabilized. Nope. That's, gonna, that's not going to work. Oh, man. We just about had it. That's too bad. Is it possible to... Bring that down to there. That's about as high as we can go. Yeah, it's not going to do it.
Okay, well, then I think... Yeah, that's just gonna bang right into the ceiling, isn't it? Hmm. Huh. Well, what I guess I'm going to have to do then is, um, move the stack of 12 in, the first stack of 12 in, we might be able to actually use the original forklift for this, now that I think about it. So if we just set these here. See, I don't think this, this guy's not going to help us as good because we can only get one pallet deep. Even though it can go, you know, nice and high. I'm just thinking here for a second. Um, let's try something. Yeah, I can't even get far enough over to set that down because the little support thing is banging into that guy. I can do this. That's probably about all the further I want to try and take that. Okay, I mean, that's not ideal. <laughs> Let's grab the other forklift. I'm gonna back up just a little bit. See those pallets shifting when I lift this up? Yowzers. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's that's probably our our best option for making this work, and it does work. It's just you know extra handling of the pallets, but it does work. And this forklift is definitely better suited for this than the than the stand-up one, even though the stand-up one... Uh, I like the stand-up one because of the height and the forks are just always level, which is good and bad. If you got into a situation with it where you did need to kind of tilt things back, you can't really do that very well. where things get a little dicey.
Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna have to fix this by hand. It would have been fine except for that I, you know, we kind of, I kind of messed it up by using that other forklift and not able to get the thing in there all the way. Now, don't you screw up. All right, everybody get out of the way. You get back there, you get back there. Yeah, you get back, uh, well, maybe not that far. There. That's not too bad. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be stable. Reasonably stable. All right, you guys. Well, um, we have gone a very long time in this episode. I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to edit, but I wanted you to kind of see the process here and, you know, see, you know, be with me when I kind of figured the process out because we're going to be doing a lot of this. <laughs> That's just all there is to it. Um, and, you know, there's other things I could have done other mods and stuff that are more automatic pallet warehouses and things but for role playing and for realism um this was the best mod i could find in the way of an actual cold storage but you know we got to actually load them in but and that's fine you know i mean we have to do the work to earn the money and we're already I'm not going to say we're cheating by using our imaginary worker because we are paying for that imaginary worker, but still. Um, yeah, it, it's just going to be a lot of work and that's all there is to it, but it's going to be worth it. It's absolutely going to be worth it. So I probably won't show you guys a whole lot more of this, you know, loading the cold storage uh, in the coming months. I will definitely show you when it comes, you know, time to sell. Right, and we um, and we move we move stuff uh, and take stuff to market. That'll we'll definitely do an episode on that. Um, but you know, just the month to month loading up in here, I'll bring you guys in here. You know, every once in a while, say, hey, here's how much we have now, where we're at, yada yada yada, kind of thing. But um, I'll I'll probably just do most of this off camera. Uh, but now you at, at least you know you know what I'm going to be doing and how it's more or less going to be done. And of course, if I come up with a better solution. Uh, or if you guys have a better solution for me uh, in the comments, you know, then we'll revisit things at that point. But for the time being, I think this is going to be our MO for loading the cold stars. And hey, that doesn't look terrible. It really doesn't. I mean, you know, it doesn't look terrible. Uh, and we have an, another spot for another row, a single row of lettuce, too, if we need it, which we very, you know, very well might by the time this is all said and done. I mean, again, this is just one month, guys, and it's only March, so we've got a we got to get all the way to January. Uh, so what is that? Eight more months? Nine more months? Eight more months? And each month's going to give us about this much product. So, yeah, this thing is going to be full by the time January rolls around. That's for sure. If not, bursting. <laughs> uh, but it's fun. I am really enjoying this. I hope you guys are, too. So I'm going to let you go here. I'll probably just go ahead and pick up the bales and do the rolling off camera. I mean, you guys have seen me do that a million times. Uh, after I finish, you know, loading in the rest of these. And then in the next episode, it'll be April. And that it'll be time to do hay contracts and stuff like that. Now, um, I'm thinking that we're not going to... Uh, I'm going to do something kind of along the lines of what we did last season where... I'm not going to show you every single month and every single contract and every single hay cutting and all of that. I'll show some of that sort of thing just to kind of keep things interesting-ish. But, you know, I'm going to start doing more of that stuff off camera just so we can keep the series moving for you guys, keep things interesting and fresh for you guys. And, and you know, so the stuff doesn't get quite so repetitive. Uh, so just want to give you a heads up on that. And uh, so I'm not exactly sure when I'll bring you back, actually. But it'll be at some point when it, the time is right. Definitely, if we find something good in the sale, um, uh, I'll at the very least record myself purchasing that so I can show it to you, you know, in the next episode when I do come back, if not bring you back for it, the actual sale itself. Okay, so that's going to be kind of the MO moving forward. And uh, with that, I'm going to let you guys go here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.